Okay, guys. Eric from Abu Dhabi, Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk 2015, and this quick video is gonna be to explain you how you have to proceed to add one of these new key fobs to to have an extra an extra key fob alongside the existing ones the ones already programmed uh, within your your ECU prereqs for this procedure number one you need a very good OBD OBD2 Bluetooth adapter uh, I don't recommend you to try one of one of those cheap ones because those cheap OBD adapters cannot establish connections with the Alpha OBD software okay prereq number two alpha obd software as far as i know you can use the windows version and whether the the android version next step connect the obd to the jeep cherokee port i'm gonna try to do it quickly here i'm gonna disconnect my heads up display and connect the adapter sorry it's dark because it's night here okay alpha obd connected to the obd port and now important information you can find these new key fobs on amazon you can find it on aliexpress however you must make sure the one you got it it's compatible with the jeep cherokee and how can you test that this key fob here doesn't work on the Jeep Cherokee. It, it, maybe it's possible to program this one on the Grand Cherokee, but on the Jeep Cherokee is not going to work. And the way you have it to make sure this is not a compatible transponder is just to put the key on the starter and leave it like there with the door open. What's gonna happen is the dash will light up. You have the, the key connected, but the car and the dash won't shine the warning message that you have the key on the starter. If you buy one of these new key fobs, having the transponder compatible with the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, not the Trailhawk, but the Jeep Cherokee KL, once you insert the key on the starter, the car will do that. The warning message telling you that the door is open and the key is on the starter. And for the record, if you are asking yourself, even though when this key fob is not programmed, it will trigger the warning about the keys on the starter but the car won't start if you turn the key and try to run the car with a, a M program a one pro unprogrammed uh, fob the car won't start but even when the key is not programmed the car will give you the warning message so once you make sure you have the appropriate the appropriate key with the appropriate transponder doing this test the steps are basically put the key on the starter turn the key to the first position which it's the locked position okay and proceed to the proceed to the alpha obd software okay choose the radio frequency radio frequency <laughs> connect okay we are online connected to the alpha obd software connected to the obd adapter okay next step go for the procedure session 
first procedure it's going to be read the pin number okay once you click on start the alpha obd will give you your card unique pin number i'm not going to show you my pin number it's not necessary so i'm going to stop this procedure go back to the previous screen reconnect and having the key here on the starter you have to turn the key for the first you know to the first position which is the locked acc position you're gonna choose the program ignition key fob baseline system and here you're gonna type the p number you just got it which you just got it and you're gonna click on start it will take like 15 seconds and if you have the appropriate key fob the appropriate one because the key fobs for the ran and for the grand cherokee are not compatible with with the jeep cherokee okay if you have the appropriate key fob you got the pin number you're just gonna have to click on start and this one is going to be added it's gonna be part of the list of key fobs your car have it and just for the record i'm gonna show you that as of now my car has four program key fobs because i bought two of those key fobs on the aliexpress and the two extra ones are working fine perfectly actually this one is one of the the key fobs which i bought on aliexpress uh now i'm gonna reconnect i'm gonna read system status scroll up scroll up scroll up scroll up none of number of doors uh -huh. here number of key fobs program i have four keys program on my jeep cherokee two of those are the stock ones and two extra ones uh one of these key fobs i usually live with my neighbor uh, for some kind of emergencies and actually i hide one of these extra key fobs externally <laughs> on my car because in case i in case i lock myself outside which by the way has happened before if i lock myself outdoors if i lock myself outside of, outside of the car i can go there on my secret hidden place get the extra key fob and open the car so that's it for uh forgive me because of this it's a you know totally not professional video i just wanted to to record this procedure to to tell you the way to do it and to make sure that it works by the way worth to mention that the the alpha obd plus the obd adapter they only work on jeep cherokees between 2014 up to 2018 jeep cherokee 2019 and and newer you're gonna have to buy the blue cable as far as i know it is something to bypass the security system which this security system is not part of the 2014 up to 2018 so that's it guys hope i hope uh, that the video is useful i hope that i have helped it and that's it it's possible you can do by yourself that's it make sure you have the appropriate key fob compatible with the jeep cherokee because the ram key fob doesn't work the grand cherokee doesn't work if you have the appropriate one it's gonna work that's it bye bye